Sarvam Krishna Arpanam. In this video, we are going to see how Srimad Bhagavadam is ever more important during this pandemic. Needless to say, during this pandemic, people are ever more turning towards faith, prayers and offerings to God. I could see this around my neighborhood where people of all religions are doing this currently. Last year, I did not witness this. So the more and more the pandemic waves are happening, this is becoming more and more true. We as human beings are born in this world for a singular purpose, that is devotional service to God, Sriman Narayana and total surrender to Him. But by the nature of autonomy given to us, there is a sense of ego which always prevails and we as humans think we are capable of doing everything in this world to the extent that we think we are immortals. This is partly due to the western culture because this is highly materialistic. Um, even uh, the way we pray God, the way we worship has been becoming more and more uh, ritualistic, more mechanical without the actual intent. The pandemic basically has crushed all of our egos and it is very evident because uh, we could see panic in each and everyone's mind all the time. The first wave of the pandemic in my view was more of a warning from the God because there is uh, too much dishonesty, um, cheating in this uh, Kali Yuga. And people are basically not following the principles of righteousness. As we venture deep into Kali Yuga, it is becoming more and more irrelevant. The righteousness part is becoming lost. Lord Narayana, um, by his own mercy, usually gives warning before he punishes um, anybody who is against the path of uh, righteousness. He has done this as uh, Lord Rama, where he has given a chance to Ravana. He sent him back, gave him a chance before killing him. He has done this as Lord Krishna, where he has given several chances to Shish Shishupala, at least a hundred times. Now, the second wave is becoming more and more devastating and it is time for the naysayers to fall in line. So we don't know how many waves are going to happen and when this whole pandemic is going to end. The only way to cross this ocean of repeated births and rebirths and the waves and waves of misery or samsara or bondage as they call it is total surrender to Sriman Narayana. The picture illustrates this. The right hand palm of the God is facing down which means the concept of total surrender. The left palm shows this unique uh, position which basically shows what Sriman Narayana can do if you are under his protection. The strength of the waves of samsara or bondage or the waves and the waves of the misery could be reduced to such an extent that is to the knee level and one can easily cross this ocean of uh, bondage. Now this picture, uh, this is kind of an analogy where uh, it is repeatedly told across our literature. Vasudeva carries Lord Krishna when he is born across Yamuna. The waves of Yamuna were very violent and ferocious until it touched the feet of Lord Krishna. It subsided to such an extent that Vasudeva was able to carry Krishna so easily. So that's the power of total surrender of God. Now, what are the ways to do it in this modern world? So it is told at the end of Vishnu Sahasranama, Kayena Vacha Manasendriva Buddhyatmanava Prakrutehe Swabhavat Karomi Yadyat Sakalam Parasmai Narayanayati Samatpayami. I dedicate humbly to that superior Lord Narayana whatever I do with my body, speech, mind, and sense organs. Now the key concept here are three things. What one could do with the mind of the sense organs, speech, and bodily actions. Now the whole Indian way of worshipping was very holistic until several invaders came into this wonderful land and spoiled the whole culture. We have become very materialistic as a result. Now, if you look at the temples, starting from the temple tower, to the pillars, to the sanctum sanctorium, you could see loads and loads of references to the God or illustrations of the various activities of God or the avatars. Now, this basically helps one to remember God again and again. 
now let's say you are living out uh, of the temple and you are still able to look at the temple tower now even if you are far away you will be able to uh, do the remembering part now how can we do this at our home in this uh, modern ways of living in this busy life now let's assume we have multiple photos of god across uh, your house in various rooms now let's say you're going from one room to the other room now if you have the various photos that helps you to remember the god we also remember god while waking up having meals before having each and every meal before going to bed or telling stories to your kids about the various avatars now this is the uh, remembering part which could be done with the mind of the sense organ what about the bodily actions now let's say you have a um, a small photo or an idol of god you could worship him by giving a glass of water or a leaf or a fruit this is what krishna has referenced in bhagavad gita all he expects is this gesture uh, that you are able to do devotional service to him that's all it takes to do the bodily action now coming to the third point is the speech if you are able to chant mantra or read uh, the avatars um, or the various leelas of the god that is enough to do the uh, speech part it is told in dhruva stuti bhagavad guna katamrata panamattah hearing god stories are like drinking nectar this is especially true for the followers of lord shriman narayana this is the prescribed way to cross the dangerous ocean of birth and rebirth and not only this pandemic this whole samsara the bondage can be easily crossed by this now if one could do the three combined the remembering part the bodily actions and the chanting part this is very good enough for one to sustain this pandemic or to even reach vaikuntha sarvam krishnarpanam